Hey guys, this is Ed. Today I'll show you how to remove front bumper cover on a Nissan Pathfinder. This is a 2003, but uh, I believe this should be the same from 2000 up to 2004 Nissan Pathfinder models. Uh, okay, so first thing we have to do is open the hood. Open the hood. Secure it. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to remove the grill. To remove the grill, it's a pretty simple procedure, but uh, it takes some effort also. So what we have here, we have four, five pins we have to disconnect. One, two, oh no, mm, sorry. Second one, same thing on this side, one on the top and one under it, and one in the middle. I'm gonna start with this thing. I'm putting my hand here and okay, we have this one. Okay, as you can see, it has. As you can see, they're like this. Alright guys, as you can see, they're made like this. So uncomfortable here to film. See this thing? So it goes inside and then it opens and it clicks in. So what you have to do, you have to remove one, two, this one and this one. Okay, these were simple. These you can get actually with your hand. You can press on them and pull with the other hand. Uh, the trickiest one is this one because it's very very limited space. But you can still do it. What I'm using, I'm using my screwdriver. Again, also this thing. To remove the middle one, you have to press the press press in the middle piece. Okay, press the middle piece and then pull on it. In my case, it just click, snapped out. But it's very brittle. Everything is here is very brittle. It's, it's made of plastic, so make sure you don't put too many too much force in doing this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove all the, these two remaining clips, like I did this one, and uh, then I'll show you further. Okay, so I got I got the grill out. Well, with this thing it was really headache. I took my but I took a screwdriver. Like this, I went my hand inside, got my screwdriver out, and I pressed on the bottom part. Over here. I pressed on it, and then it came loose. But yeah, that was a headache. Okay, here's our grill. I'm gonna put it here. Next step, what we have here. I see clips, one, two, three, four, five. Five clips. I don't see no more. Okay, let's uh, remove these clips. Clips should be removed like this. Take your screwdriver inside. Raise the thing up. I'm sorry. Pull this thing out and then pull the insert out. Okay, like this. Take them all out. Okay, so when we have our five clips out, next step is we will have to remove over here. Let's say from the passenger side. Okay, it's very dark. Sorry. See this right here? This guy right here. Okay. So this guy right here, we have to remove it. It's um, it's either 10 millimeter ratchet or a regular screwdriver, the Phillips one. I'm gonna use the screwdriver. Let's see. If and uh, well, remove both of them on both sides. Just get it out. I have my mine out on this side. Okay, this looks good. Uh, and 
let's take care of the other side. Okay, I have my two screws here. Next up, just get a floor mat or something to lie on on the ground. And we have to remove one, two, three uh, screws. One, two, three on both sides. So it's a total of six. Okay, so remove them. Okay, when we have our clips on the bottom out, also we have clip here and clip here. So we have to take care of, of these also. All right, so we have our two clips out here, one bolt on each side out over there, five clips out here, three, cli uh, three screws on the bottom of each side here. Now at last we could take the bumper off. So put you guys here. have to do next is you have to disconnect the lights to do so you have to press this blue inside blue uh, the insert blue middle insert and pull the connector out once and here's the other one just Press on the middle piece and pull, and it goes out like this. Okay, so this is it. This is how you take the cover off. We have the, the cover off. Now I'm gonna put it back on. Putting it back on is the same reverse procedure like we took it off, just do the same thing, putting it back on. Um, okay, guys, if this helps, press like. If not, comment. Hope this helps so have a great day bye by the way uh, when you're gonna put the the grill back in place you just have to click it in it's just gonna put it in it clicks in and you're all set okay have a great day bye